guys it's me elise and i hope that you guys are all doing well i'm back with a new video so i have a new wig from a company called clay Yi, and if you guys check the info section below i will have all the information details and links provided there i will also leave a discount code so just in case you guys are interested in saving 28 percent off of your purchases use my discount code which is my 28 to save an additional 28%. So here's the wig that I have. I have their 13 by four inch lace frontal wig. It also has those curly edges and my wig is 20 inches long, 150% density, and it's in that jerry curl texture, which is gorgeous. This wig is 100% human hair, and it's also in that natural color. Now this wig does have that 13 by four inch transparent lace, and I will be bleaching the knots later. This this wig also comes with the removable adjustable elastic band as well as it does have combs and elastic strap now once again I will be customizing this wig per usual just to make this wig look a little more natural if you are a beginner you can wear the wig as it comes as it does not need any customizations however I will be doing it just to make the wig fit my liking so if you want to see a more detailed video on how I customize my wigs be sure to hit the card above or the link below and I'll be sure to leave a video showcasing how I do that however I'm just going to go ahead and finish bleaching my knots then you guys are going to see me shampoo poo condition and then we're going to move on with the next step Okay, so now that I have shampooed and conditioned my wig, you guys do notice that I did lose some of the curls around the edges. However, if you just spray a little bit of water, add a little bit of mousse and shingle them, you can kind of get them back. But for now, I'm just gonna work on the hairline because I did want to sort of tweeze behind the hairline. I wanted to wear this wig in the middle part. So we're gonna go ahead and style up this wig. So firstly, I'm just going to remove a little bit of density from behind the hairline. Okay, so since tweezing the hairline, I did develop some frizz. So I'm going in using a little bit of water. Then I'm going to follow up with my wet and wavy cream. And I'm going to apply that all over the hair. You want to make sure that the hair is soaked and wet. Then you're going to take a detangling brush like the one that I have. And I will leave a link to everything that I'm using throughout this video in the info section below. But I'm just combing through this wig just to redefine the curls and you guys see how gorgeous these curls are turning out to be oh my god i love it so if you notice that your edges have gone straight definitely go in with a little bit of foamy wrap mousse or gel and just shingle up your edges in order to get those curls back I just kind of left them how they were just because they were kind of still curly however this is what it looks like <music> 
so i've allowed the wig to sit and air dry and it took about two days just because this wig is so thick and i didn't have it like over a fan or anything like that but this is what it looks like if you develop a crunchy cast definitely scrunch up the hair in your hands in order to break that off however i did notice that the lace just because it's transparent is too light for my skin tone so i'm going in using some of my foundation and i usually like to use a foundation that's about one shade darker than my skin tone so this will be like my summer foundation and then i apply it all over the lace just to get that perfect match now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a stocking cap and now a lot of you guys like to ask me why do I wear a black stocking cap it's just because it's neutral it's neutral so pretty much like the lace color is going to pop against the black stocking cap but you can definitely use a nude color tone or one that's closest to your skin tone but see black works for me you notice you can kind of see the part pop in yeah so I use black so this is what the wig looks like on you guys do notice the edges are nice and curly it looks pretty good I just went ahead and I pinned up the side of my hair just so that way I can remove the lace and you guys notice right there <laughs> yep I did accidentally cut off some of my baby hairs and I was so mad however it still ended up working out for me so you guys just be really careful you might want to take it off and put it on a canvas block as you cut away the lace don't do as I did but definitely learn from my mistake now I'm going in using my melt me down spray and then I'm just going to go ahead and get this wig melt it down body smoking like a cigarette oh ah baby I can smoke it time yeah. say now you I want to see when I wake up in the morning okay you guys so this is what this wig is looking like i am in love with these curls they're super soft super bouncy and y'all look at that shine so gorgeous now this wig did have a bit of shedding so you guys definitely want to keep an eye out on that now you guys let me know are you guys here for this whole curly edge trend that's been going on or it's not your thing see i don't know i think that is kind of interesting and i like kind of like the idea behind it that these wigs are made to look more so like our hair um but yeah i'm definitely looking for something that's more along the lines of like the 4a 4b 4c throughout the entire wig okay once you guys can get that done then yeah i'm on board but for the most part this is what this wig is looking like. You guys definitely check out Clay Yi. I will have all the information, links and details located in the info section below. Definitely use my discount code, which is my28 to save 28% off of your purchases. Everything that I use throughout this video will be left down in the info section below. But once again, you guys let me know if you guys are here for this curly kinky edge trend that's been going on. Y'all leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Bye guys.